Environmental NGO, uh, the Rocha Ghana, together with other NGOs and individuals, have filed a notice of civil action against the government of Ghana over plans to exploit the Etiwa uh, range forest. The notice is filed at the Office of the Attorney General and Minister of Justice, Gloria Kufu, is in pursuance to Article Section 10 of the State Proceedings Act of uh, 1998, which is Act 5. Five, five. The action intends to protect and safeguard the environment uh, pursuant to the constitutional duty imposed on uh, us under Article 41 of the Constitution. The group, together with uh, uh, 20 other civil society organizations, both local and international, have embarked on a series of campaigns to steer government away from its decision. Right, uh, we're lucky to have in the studio, privileged to have in the studio, uh, Daro Bosu of uh, Darocha. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Thank you very much. So, so tell me what this uh, action is about. Yes, so as you know, for a long time, we have been impressing on government to really consider um, their decision to mine bauxite in Atua Forest. And I think that even though we acknowledge and support government's agenda, we think that it is not every place in this country that should be targeted for box and mining. So we have for a long time been engaging with government to get them, like you rightly said, to rescind the particular intention to target at offer. But all of this has fell on deaf ears. Yeah. And we think that we have other options to, to get government to listen. So we decided to resort to the courts. And that is how come we've said notice to the AG right. to get government to do the right thing. And so, we have quite a number of other institutions. So there's notice and the other institutions. Uh, yeah. What really is your interest in this? I mean, uh, we know you started a campaign in order to stop government from making incursions into the Tuar Forest yeah. bauxite. But yeah. really, what's the core essence of this suit? Is it to, uh, for example, stop government entirely or regulate? Well, there are Regulates several things. The, the, yes, the yes. Approach. Our intention mm. here is to get the cause to actually push for government to respect everybody's right to a very healthy environment. And this is what mm. already our constitution mm. provides. Again, we are seeking that we get the cause to impress upon government to rather protect the forest and not go ahead to extract bauxite, which will destroy the forest. It also goes at the same time to impress on all agents of government to, to do the necessary, uh, to take the necessary actions to protect the forest. So these are very crucial because right now the, the agenda and the focus is to go ahead and destroy the forest. We want to turn that around. I know you've resorted, you've used a lot of advocacy to exactly. get what exactly. you wanted, but as it appears is not working, exactly. you're resorting to legal action. Exactly. How confident are you that this one will bring you the outcomes you have been looking for using advocacy? Well, it's too early for me to say, and you mm. can never tell the mm. outcome of a legal mm. case. So yeah. we'll leave it to the case mm. to run, and mm. I'm sure our lawyers, who's in the course mm. of time, will be able to speak to how the case is but going. But you, you spoke about rights. I exactly. mean, the, the government has consistently said that it's a uh, bauxite uh, exploration yeah. uh, in the Etiwa area. It's just a small fraction which will bring <laughs> tremendous development to our country also you know these are also rights issues so where do we draw the line between uh, the rights to development right to improve uh, our life our lifestyles by developing infrastructure as against the rights of you know the forest to to stay intact to provide right. the so, water and the next three things yes, that yes, you've all yes, been talking yes, about yes. i agree and um, like i said we also appreciate the need that as a country we need to develop, and the best way we can do that is to take advantage of the resources we mm. have. But what we have also realized is that in respect of this bauxite agenda, Ghana can actually meet all its infrastructure deficit obligations without necessarily touching the forest. But we need to also bear in mind the services this but particular that is forest a bauxite, provides. That's a bauxite Please, reserve. How I do need we to, get the bauxite? No, no, no. Let, let me tell you something. Atua is not the only source of bauxite in this country. There are several other locations, okay? And that's why it's even the lowest um, quantity and also in, in terms of grade has got the poorest grade. But if you look at what sits on the bauxite, the water services for 5 million people, the biodiversity services, the climate amelioration services this forest provides, it far exceeds whatever amount of money you're going to get from the bauxite. $2 billion, for no, example. No, please. 
The 2 billion is for all the bauxite. We said we have leverage, but actually Ghana has got more than 2 billion worth of bauxite. We have over 400 billion dollars worth of bauxite, okay? So, and this is what government is going for. We only need to satisfy a better arrangement, which is just 2 billion. Atiwa is, is really not in line to really for targeting. And that's why we're saying that for all the other locations, you can actually take that box. So, which other locations do there you have are, in mind where you say that they are top grade? Uh, box yes, site? so the Minerals Commission has already data mm -hmm. and as well as GADEC for they put out information on Yinehini having about 700 million tons, 7 million tons of bauxite. And now already we know that for a long time, for over 80 years now, we've been mining bauxite already in Awaso. So these areas are already well noted for active and if you look at the trade-off, mm -hmm. it is much less going So to you be would recommend that government do. should have sent that exactly. uh, We need to do a judicious an to... analysis. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We don't go selling everything because the forest of Atua is also the source of water. We need to do that trade of analysis. Right. Opportunity Darryl. cost needs to be well done. Daryl, thank you very much. Thank you very we wish much, you the very yeah. best with thank your you. advocacy. Daryl Bosu is with Arocha Ghana.